Watch this video and you'll never have to settle for second-rate sequels on Netflix again. What is this sweet heaven I speak of? The kind that you're about to get the key to. The kind that features endless streaming of the legendary classics. The firsts, the originals. The kind that is the movie and TV show selection of Netflix US. Don't thank me. Just like and subscribe, please. Hey, I'm Renny, and welcome to VPN Mentor, your source for everything VPN. What the hell is a VPN, and what does it have to do with your beloved Netflix? Well, a VPN is a virtual private network, and when you use one, you bypass any content restrictions you're experiencing because of where you live. So if you live anywhere outside the US, you can actually access all of the thousands of movies and TV shows on Netflix US and other services like Hulu as well. I know, what? That doesn't, I don't. Yes, yes it does, and I do. This is a public service, you're welcome. And not only will a VPN help you access more of the content you love, but it's also easy to install, super secure, and powers very fast streaming speeds. So let's get ourselves a VPN and get this going already. I mean, I want you to get Netflix in time for dinner so that you too can spend hours choosing what to watch instead of actually watching anything at all. Yay! VPNs work by making it look like you're browsing from a different IP address. Your IP address is your virtual location. So if it changes, it looks like you're in a totally different country. But Netflix has super strong VPN detection software that many VPNs can't bypass. Oh no, but it's time for your annual Lord of the Rings binge fest. Don't fret, there's always NordVPN. It will help you access literally anything, which is pretty dope and you should show some respect cause not all VPNs can do that. What's even more awesome is how easy it is for you to get and use NordVPN, making it ideal for first time users. It's actually the top ranked VPN on our site, VPN Mentor, where we have reviewed over 300 VPNs on the market. And it's affordable too, so you can throw down on that Legolas costume you've been eyeing, huh? All right, so sounds too good to be true. How, but for real, how do you unblock Netflix US already? Well, first things first, get a VPN. Many of them offer trial periods and or money back guarantees, and I highly recommend making good use of those to explore your options. See the links provided in the description below. And keep in mind that once you do decide to purchase, the longer the plan, the more value for your money. Right now, you can buy a long-term NordVPN plan for just a few dollars a month. Less than the cost of that bloody fidget spinner you got and never used. Yeah, remember those? Yikes. Second, download and install your chosen VPN. If you go with NordVPN, then you'll be stoked to see and use its intuitive one-click map interface, which is user-friendly, even for the most tech-challenged of users. Third, choose a server in the country whose Netflix catalog you want to access. So for Netflix US, choose a server from anywhere in the US, except Arkansas. Just kidding. Even Arkansas servers work. And finally, open Netflix and enjoy lying to yourself about how you're only gonna watch just one more episode. Wait, 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 I hear the skeptics saying. I mean, how am I supposed to know if using this VPN is better than using my local connection? I'm just supposed to take this weird lady's word for it? Okay, okay. First of all, weird is cool, yeah? And second, don't fret. I'll show you how it works. And a trick if it doesn't. Ooh. Let's start with checking the IP address and its performance on the local connection, without a VPN. As you can see, I'm in Tel Aviv, and my network connection speed is about 48 megabytes per second for download, and 2.8 megabytes per second for upload with eight milliseconds ping. Logging into my Netflix account, I search for The Office, which I know is geo-restricted because I searched for it constantly in my pre-VPN days, you know, wishfully thinking one random search might make Dwight magically appear on my screen talking about how R is the most menacing of sounds, and that's why they call it murder and not muckduck. See? Search results don't include it. Now to test the IP address with a VPN. I head to the NordVPN app and connect to a random US-based server. As you can see, the test shows we're now in Utah and our network speed is about 47 megabytes per second for download with two megabytes per second upload and 150 milliseconds ping. Um, well, that's casually amazing. Most VPNs drop your speed to 10 to 12 megabytes per second. And no one ever cared about ping. I mean, what is ping anyway? Like. 
I don't know. I go back to Netflix and log in. Merlin's beard. Looks like Netflix figured out we're accessing it from a VPN connection because it's not letting us in. All right, cool, we get it. You're popular, whatever. I connect to another US server, clean the browser's cache and data, and run the IP address and performance tests once more. <gasps> And what do you know, stupendous results. About 42 megabytes per second down and two megabytes per second up with 148 milliseconds ping. I open the Netflix page and drum roll please, I can and do proceed with sign in. Oh, I search for the office and whoa bam, it's here. I stream the episode and sure enough, I'm watching Dwight complain about how there's too many people on earth and we need a new plague. Blessed is thy VPN, everything works flawlessly. And there are so many more benefits to getting a VPN than just Netflix. Though, let's face it, I mean, that's reason enough. There's also the airtight military grade security, which ensures 100% privacy of all your most sensitive information. You know, like your Facebook likes. And if Netflix don't got enough selection for you, you couch monster, uh, that's cool. A strong VPN will get you access to Hulu, BBC iPlayer, and Amazon Prime Video too. Anything you can dream up can find its way onto your screen for seamless streaming, including The Vampire Diaries, which, come on, I know you like it. And now I set you free, off with you. The classics are calling your name. Just one last thing before you go. Did you know that when you like a VPN mentor video and subscribe to our channel, an angel somewhere gets to watch a Drew Barrymore flick on Netflix for free? Yeah. So when Netflix starts asking you if you're still watching and your couch monster gets exposed, no judgment here. Even angels are addicts. Now go melt and become one with your couch.